सपनों का घर ये वही है हमारे लिए For me, house is a place which, in the whole universe, you can call your own. And uh, we wanted a house where there is a visual connectivity between all these spaces of the house, uh, a place where you feel connected, where you feel rooted. And I think this house brings every vision into reality. Hi, I'm Shalini Mehta. By profession, I'm an entrepreneur, and I run a furnishing brand by the name Rangbar. And by passion, I'm in love with everything that makes a house beautiful. And this is my home. You remember Tulsi from Kyunki Saas Bhi Kabi Bahu Thi? Hi, LBB. Come on in. Uh, we are right now standing at the entry foyer of this house and uh, there are few reasons this space is very special to me. Uh, I love the way this double door uh, opens up to this long aisle and it is so generously welcoming. So this furniture piece uh, has been custom made by us by a furniture brand called Fabile. It's just fantastic. I love this piece. Uh, I love the rustic white color in it and the wooden finishes. To the right side, we have a small puja room here. It is where our mornings begin with some chants and uh, mantras. It just sets up the blissful mood for the entire day. So this is a space which we utilize as a wardrobe, and we've put on this uh, very beautiful pitchway wallpaper from Life and Colors. And I think it just binds up the whole space together and gives it a very divine feel. Um, now I'll show you my living area. This is our formal living room. All these furniture pieces have been picked up from various brands, like these chairs we recently picked up from Urban Ladder. Uh, those chairs are also from Urban Ladder. And this divan is one of my most uh, beautiful piece. Uh, I mean, I'm in totally love with it. Uh, it's very comfortable, and at the same time, it's giving a very traditional vibe. The most special painting that we have in the house, this, and along with other paintings over here, which you can see, have been handpicked from Dastagar. If we move on to this side. This one is a Patachitra art. Uh, this also has been picked up from Dastakar. And the speciality about this art is it is made on a silk cloth. It's been done by an artist from Arisha. And I love the way it uh, gels up with the entire theme of my living room. Talking about this furniture, this is a rattan and a mango wood piece and I absolutely loved it. This was actually a love at first sight and we just went to buy some paintings and we, picked, we came back picking this up. Coming to this side, this is again a painting that we picked up from Dastakar and it's a Radha Krishna painting. And we put this Nandi uh, just beneath it and it really complements it. Come on, I'll take you to the kitchen. So, uh, when we bought this house, this wasn't like this before. There was a complete dead wall running over here and being a small family, we did not really like the idea of being so private. Uh, we were very fond of an open space, so we pulled down this wall and we uh, made a breakfast counter over here and we really enjoyed our cooking and eating sessions over here. Particularly my uh, daughter, she really loves to sit here when I'm cooking for her. So welcome to our yellow kitchen. This is actually a sunshine for us. Uh, ever since we started building this house, I had fantasized a yellow kitchen. And this has actually come to reality and we absolutely love it. I think a kitchen has to be vibrant and it has to give out happy emotions and that's what it gives us.
Coming to the dining area, this is uh, my most favorite part of the house. So this is the place where the entire family connects together for the meals and we absolutely uh, love this space because it is uh, the center part of the house and from here you feel the whole house to be connected. Talking about this uh, solid wood table and these chairs, these are my most favorite pieces from the house. It was initially a bedroom and we have pulled down this wall because uh, being a small family, we did not really uh, need it for rooms. This is an absolute masterpiece that we have in our house. This is a custom made uh, wallpaper from House of Ikari. And uh, we, we, uh, in our initial conversations, I had actually uh, shared with them with the kind of uh, family room we want. We want a kind of, you know, the Indian bed hook. And we wanted some Mughal era theme, uh, which is little traditional, which has a lot of nature elements. And that's what they came up with. And it was a love at first sight. Uh, coming to the furniture over here, uh, we wanted a low seating furniture here because it's like a casual sitting for us where the friends come, where the parties happen and where the memories are created. So these two pieces are again custom made and to our uh, comfort and to our design. So here we enter to the two rooms of the house. Uh, this side is my child's room and this is the master bedroom. Come on. I always wanted a four poster bed for the bedroom but then I realized it could be a visual obstruction. So we instead opted for this small poster bed. I think it's a perfect alternative to a, a full four poster bed. And this is made in teak wood and again uh, this is upholstered in a textile and this is because we have deep love for Indian textiles. and. Uh, Coming to this area, this is a wardrobe, this is our wardrobe and I think we really underestimate how a wardrobe can look beautiful. Um, you know, we've uh, broken the conventional norms of just going with the plain wooden laminate. We have done this in this beautiful wallpaper by House of Ikari and matched up uh, this red color theme in these handles. These are from a brand called Indian Shelf and they have beautiful brass handles and I think it really went along with the entire theme of the house which is little Indian, little traditional. When you come to this area, I'll show you something. So this is like a vision board for me. This uh, board I have picked up from Chumbak and I absolutely love it. And this is where I keep a record of the things I need to do in the entire week. And I think without this, I cannot function. So now I'll take you to the another master bedroom, that's what we call it as, that's my daughter's bedroom. So this is my daughter's room and honestly this looks like an absolute dream world to me. This is one place where all the art and craft happens. My daughter is really fond of crafts and the way it looks right now, it's never like that. I mean, she'll have stuff all around with scissors, with tapes, with craft materials and everything. And uh, that is the reason we've kept a small bed for her so that she gets a lot of open space to play around. And when her friends are here, they are not constrained by the space and they just absolutely love it. They love the space and they get to do whatever they want to do. Let me take you to the guest room. Uh, before entering, I want to talk about this beautiful door that we have over here. Since this door was opening into the formal living area, 
we did not want it to look like opaque and you know very plain so we've chosen this tinted uh, glass to go along with this uh, georgian teak door and i think it looks absolutely fantastic um and it also uh, we love the way it glows uh, when there's light falling behind come on So this is our guest bedroom. This is not a very big space, but we've tried keeping it very minimal and very comfortable for the guests. Um, this is one piece that we picked up from a store in Noida, and we've deliberately chosen this uh, bench instead of a TV console um, because I think it's convenient for the guests to put their stuff. and that's why i haven't kept anything over it so that it can easily used and i think these wardrobes are the are one of the best design element of this house these are fabric sandwiched wardrobes so there's this fabric uh, which is sandwiched between two glasses and uh, the reason why we wanted to go for this kind of wardrobe is because we did not want it to look like a dead wall and uh, we just loved the way it has turned out and it's super gorgeous So this is our happy place uh, we call it our mini garden this is a place where our mornings begin uh, particular this is a south side and it receives a lot of sunlight so in winters i think this uh, is our second home for winters it be uh, we begin our days here and uh, stay here till evening uh, till the sun sets down and since my childhood uh, i was very fond of greens but uh, in today's living in apartments i think it's not uh, very feasible to have a lot of greens but we have tried incorporating as many as we can and uh, the best part about this balcony is that we are blessed to have a lot of birds here uh, sparrows actually so there are a lot of times when we are woken up earlier than our alarms and that's because of these sparrows chirping in here and i think uh, they enjoy this space as much as we do Thank you for watching this video. For more such content, please subscribe to LBB's Homely Newsletter.